today I'm announcing that I terminated Eddie Johnson's employment as superintendent of the Chicago Police Department for cause effective immediately. Upon reviewing the materials as to Eddie Johnson of the Inspector General's ongoing investigation regarding the events of October 16th and early morning hours of October 17th and thereafter, it has become clear that Mr. Johnson engaged in a series of actions that are intolerable for any leader in a position of trust, particularly the head of the Chicago Police Department. First, the finding for the, of the Inspector General's report regarding Mr. Johnson, which I recently reviewed, makes clear that Eddie Johnson engaged in conduct that is not only unbecoming, but demonstrated a series of ethical lapses and flawed decision-making that is inconsistent with having the privilege of leading the Chicago Police Department. Second, Johnson intentionally misled the public in a press conference he called on October 17, 2019. He was not caught off guard, and he had plenty of time to choose his words. And the choice he made was to communicate a narrative replete with false statements, all seemingly intended to hide the true nature of his conduct from the evening before. Finally, just like with the public, Eddie Johnson intentionally lied to me several times, even when I challenged him about the narrative that he shared with me. He maintained that he was telling the truth. I now know definitively that he was not. Had I known these facts at the time, I would have relieved him of his duties as superintendent then and there. This moment needs to be a turning point for the Chicago Police Department, the way things are done in this city. As for the department, <clears throat> yesterday, today, and tomorrow has to be about culture change. That must start at the top. 